One of the best parts about living in California is how easy it is to hop in the car and explore a new place for the weekend. My husband and I wanted a two-night getaway with active adventures, great beaches, delicious food, a healthy dose of culture, and a lot of things to do outdoors. Turns out, all we had to do was look south. Orange County is just an hour away from LA and has so much more going on than we ever expected. We soon realized that we wished we'd had a week. We packed in a lot in these 72 hours, and if you only have a weekend here too, this is what you should do. With 42 miles of beach, you can do stand-up paddle boarding just about anywhere, and you definitely should. Look how pretty it is out there. We went out in Laguna Beach with a company called La Vina Laguna. The boards are large, make it super easy to balance, even with the waves and the current. And the water here is just so clear. I could see bright fish swimming around the kelp. Our guide, Doug, told us a lot about the water, the wildlife, and about Laguna in general. And it was such a fantastic way to view that coastline. You burn calories paddle boarding, so fuel up at a delicious brunch after. We went to Las Brisas, and it is one of the prettiest spots in Laguna, I think. It's right on the cliffs overlooking the ocean, and they serve up a decadent weekend brunch. The buffet is filled with Mexican specialties and classic brunch favorites. Sit by the window or sit outside to soak up that view. Just next door, the Laguna Art Museum celebrates California art and artists. And we were lucky enough to be there for a super cool exhibition on the Mexican influence on Californian life. Our guide took us through the galleries in this historic building and showed us some of the most famous pieces. Laguna Beach is known for its art, so visiting the museum felt like the perfect addition to our day. Before we knew it, it was check-in time. There are a slew of places to stay in Laguna Beach, but we couldn't have been happier staying at the Beachfront Surf and Sand Resort, where one thing took center stage. Yes, the sparkling Pacific Ocean. The resort was literally on the beach, with our balcony hanging out over the sand. We kept our doors open to breathe in that salty air, which was as amazing in the mornings as it was at sunset. For dinner, we headed north to Newport Beach's famous beachcomber, another spot literally on the sand. This tiki-style restaurant is laid back, fun, and tasty, and dining here is certainly an experience. But definitely come here hungry, portions are huge. I don't know how we managed, but we did stuff in their popular homemade beignets for dessert, served with ice cream and chocolate sauce. Ugh, I still think about these blissful, warm, sugary bites. The beachcomber also has fire pits perfect for s'mores, if you can reserve one. We fell asleep to the waves and woke up to the water directly below us since the tide had come in. Coffee was needed because we were off to Irvine for a full morning of biking. We stopped at Pedigo, Irvine to pick up some electric bikes and set off on the many bike trails in this area. We saw a range of scenery, from mountaintops to tree-covered trails to perfectly manicured neighborhoods, and we were on protected bike paths almost the whole time. The electric bikes really helped with those hills. We ended up biking for about two and a half hours, and it was such a beautiful way to breathe in the outdoors of the OC. Next stop, the Anaheim Packing House, which is a former sun-kissed citrus factory and now a breathtaking food hall. The decor inside is Instagram worthy. There's shops, lovely live music, and so many food options to choose from. Each spot had its own personality and tasty offerings. Whether you want something light or something exotic, something sweet, something rich, something boozy, something large, or even just a very cool drink. Craving some salads, we went for the Southern Style Georgias to enjoy some barbecue chicken salad and cornbread on the packing house deck. You can wash down all this good food by walking to one of the breweries nearby too. The Anaheim Brewery has been around since the late 1800s and they have some classic brews on tap. And I was actually very impressed with the new Unsung Brewery. It has a hip young feel with a focus on superheroes. They even have their own. I loved the playful, unique approach to this brewery and the creative beers that they had on tap. And though I don't love beer, I definitely would stop back here for a pint. If you are like us and crave some friendly competition, make a pit stop here for some mini golf. 
They have four well-designed courses and an arcade, and they have some pretty challenging holes. This made for a great afternoon. I'm so glad that we stopped at the ranch for dinner. It's the ultimate sophisticated steakhouse with a dimly lit wood and leather vibe inside and truly excellent food. No wonder it was packed. We started with deviled eggs and six of the best shrimp I've ever had. And Dave and I both followed it with a well-cut filet mignon and a side of mushrooms. Perfectly cooked and seasoned, I could taste the high quality of that steak. Next door, the ranch saloon had line dancing going on, so we had to stop by for a peek. We didn't have what it took to join in, but man, it was sure fun to watch. Our last day in the OC started with a local Laguna haunt, the Orange Inn. This cafe was established in 1931, and it's the first juice bar in all of California, plus the home of the original smoothie and date shake. They serve breakfast and lunch all day, so we grabbed sandwiches and set out for a picnic. Victoria Beach is a lovely secluded sandy area surrounded by cliffside homes, and it was ideal for a morning breakfast picnic. We explored the cliffs and even ventured over to the legendary Pirate Tower for a photo op, though I have to say it'll be easier to see that in low tide. Our weekend ended with one final adventure, a hike to the top of the world. You drive to the start, which is at the top of Laguna, and then hike down either way. But the whole time, you have 360 degree views of Orange County. It was the perfect way to cap off an incredible getaway in the OC.